People Podcast, Episode Three. Uh, thank you for being here. I have Charlotte Cross here. That's thank me. you for uh, for for doing this. Thank Appreciate you. It. Uh, you're in New York City. I am. I love it here. You're how, how often do you come here? Uh, probably actually too often. You know, I say I love it here, but honestly, I can't handle New York for longer than like a week. So we don't know where. So where are you usually? Where do you live? L A. So you live so, in L A. Okay. Yeah, the, the best Which is city a weird. In the world. Okay. That, okay. <laughs> so I can see if you love L A. That New York is hard. Yeah, to but digest. see, but see, I'm from the East Coast, though. So, like, yeah. I'm from Virginia, okay. and um, I lived in Boston for sure. a bit. So, like, I understand the East Coast and kind of the mentality of people out here. And, okay, well, describe yeah. that. What does that mean? Well, the attitude. So the attitude everybody's just so like busy and kind of snotty. Okay. Whereas like LA, L- LA, like I'm about to offend so many people. No, no, no. no. It's just, it, you know, but, I, Cause I think we all think that about LA. We think that about LA. I think we, I think there's an absence of snotty on the East coast. Cause like in Boston, if you're snotty, somebody will punch you in the face. Um, Okay, they're snotty to people that are not from there. Right. Don't it's, go to don't go to Boston with a New York hat. Right. right. Exactly. Sure. And but see, I'm a Yankees fan. Does okay. that count for anything? Okay. Sure. So, um, but I love LA. I I guess actually now I'm I'm an Angels fan a little. You okay. know a little bit. Right. I I uh, one of my friends plays for the Angels. Should we so. shout him out or leave him out, or leave him out of it? Let's not shout him out. <laughs> okay. He's, he's from New York. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, cool. Okay, so uh, so you love you love hate New York. So so go yeah. go further into that. You know, I love New York because they have a Zaya wine and chocolate okay. bar. That's that's, a, that's that's about that helps. that's the most thing. That helps. I guess the Yankees and uh, wine and chocolate. That's about it. I mean, so that's a Bible right but there. But I know. But okay, so think about it. In LA, it takes me. I could drive thirty minutes and I can rock climb and hike and you can do that. Do here. no. <laughs> no, no, no. You could probably walk a couple. Well, there's probably a rock climbing building. Like, okay, like a, like a so thing. I can do that in LA. I found but a batting the, cage la- uh, this week. I love in New York batting City. cages. I don't remember where it is. I think it's on like 74th Street. Or I something. I feel like the, every place should have a batting right? cage. Right. But and it's like underground somewhere. That's crazy. But so then if I if I'm you know hiking or whatever, we can turn around and go 30 minutes the other way, if that, and be at the beach. I don't. I don't think those are real numbers. Doesn't it take an hour just to get Not twelve even. blocks in LA? Uh, no. Welcome to New York. What are you talking about? You're so jaded. No. You I need to come to the right part been, of I've LA. Been, I've only been to LA uh, one and a half times. No, one and a half. One, no, one time. One time. Yeah. Yeah. What was the half you were thinking? I don't. I don't know. Well, just because because I I was there and then left and then came back in the same trip. Oh. Okay. Right? So like there was like a reason I was there. I was doing comedy and then there was a bunch of down days where I was. I think I went to Santa Monica. Where? Yeah, Santa Monica's good. That's where I was, and I went to whatever the whatever the um the famous Venice Beach breakfast spot oh. was. <laughs> you were a completely different. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? The famous breakfast. I'm spot? thinking about corned beef hash, and you're thinking about yeah, like, I'm you know, like, different, <laughs> different 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 ends. I'm thinking about hippies selling right. you cool stuff. No, no, no. Um, no, like the uh, mail. Is it called Mel's? Is that right? I don't know you what you're the... talking okay, about. Enough, I'm like, enough. I'm in the valley. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, so, okay. So, we love the... Well, the things in New York, that's great. But you don't like the people? Not that you yeah, don't like the I people. Mean, I mean, I can deal with the people, but I feel like everybody in L.A., it's just so... I, it, L.A.'s sunny, and it's pretty and right. beautiful, sure. and it's... Like, me moving to L.A. was me breaking out of my small town like little cookie cutter life sure. that I had. It's the first time and, you were like on well, your own and doing I the mean, thing? Yeah, on my own and doing well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, like I had gone, I lived in Boston for a little bit. Um, I lived in Florida. Um, I actually lived in New York like right when I got into the industry. Okay. I came to New York and um, uh, was working with an agent up here. And my so my first like New York experience was – ghetto like like 185th and Wadsworth okay, like sure. uh, what is what the is, hell where, so is that the that? Bronx is that, I don't know I don't know that's what I mean I have no idea what that it is it was um, like it was ghetto you're supposed like to somebody know. you lived there right no I lived there for two weeks okay so <laughs> I like thought I was committing to this this right. place looked great online it's so crazy how New York is I remember my first apartment I looked at two places two blocks apart but I went to two, two I, like I only came in on the train mm-hmm. got out looked, looked at the apartment and left yeah and then I came to the other so I looked at one I was like I fucking I hate this neighborhood. Right. And then I looked at the other one, not knowing that they were two blocks apart, and I was like, this is my favorite neighborhood. This right. Is, this is where I'm going to live here. Forever. Right. 
Uh, see, I see. I like. Um, where where are we at? Upper East Side right now. No, we right, no, Upper no, West Side. No, 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 we're not where upper are anything. we? Should we tell them where we are? Are we in Manhattan? <laughs> we're 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 in <laughs> Midtown. We're in the yeah the right? most uh, deliberate yeah it's mid, the most Midtown there is. We're actually in Murray Hill. Yeah, I knew we were in Murray okay, Hill yeah. because the cool diners right there. It's called what is it called the Murray, Murray Hill, Hill Diner. Diner. That's yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's good. That's so, how you know sometimes when you're on the road. That's how you find out where you are. Right. The thing is called the thing. Right. It's smart. Yeah. The, so know, I, the... I travel so much. Sometimes I wake up like I'll be in San Francisco in my in my room up at the armory, and I'll wake up in the middle of the night and think that I'm in like Florida. Yeah. And I'm like, you have to do a thing. Like I have to do. I have to if I'm if I'm not sure if I haven't slept in a while. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I'm not sure where I'm at. Uh, and I've been traveling. I have to like leave some kind of light on so I don't like panic. Yeah, I like it can't be black. You're gonna black have to get up. a get a sun a sunlight. We're gonna have to put it on your Amazon no, not even wish that. List. No, not, no, no, I'm not worried about like the B12 <laughs> or whatever. No, I need to see, like I need to wake up and see a so light. I don't panic. Yeah, no, just so, yeah. Yeah, I can see the room so I can recalibrate. Yeah, where that you're I'm, at. That I'm you know what? That would help me a lot, probably. Somebody, you know. Are, do you stay in a lot of people's living rooms? Yeah, this is this is the thing. I, I don't I don't like. Are you having weird one night stands? No, I don't love hotels. I don't love them. Yeah. So when I go to when I go to do shows, uh, you know, for comedy, I try to find places where I know people. I would rather be at somebody's house, uh, in you know, on their couch, yeah. and wake up and talk to them. We make breakfast or whatever. Yeah. Or they tell me, you know, don't go to that diner, go to that one. Yeah. I don't, I don't trust the downstairs guy at the hotel. Oh, to not let people up in your room. No, not even that. To like, if right. I ask him like, what's the place, he's just gonna oh. be like, I don't care. Like, I don't give a shit. What, what <laughs> if the I'm like, place is. I'm like catastrophizing this. <laughs> no. I'm like, you think this is this <laughs> no. bad thing's gonna happen? They let me up. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, I know, not, right? It's not a lot of security. Well, no, they knew you were coming. Okay. Yeah, they know. knew. Did you tell them you were coming? I was to my waiting room? for her to get off the phone for like a while because I wasn't sure if I needed a key to get in the elevator. No, you didn't. No, actually. So, she, so she was just like, so she was like, is there anybody in the like? I was like, so I'm gonna, and she was like, is there anybody in the room to let you? And I was like, yeah, I was, I don't know if I could use, we were both doing like not real sentences. Yeah. She was just worried. She's like, well, this person looks nervous. They probably <laughs> think that you're coming up here and like you're doing purchasing me. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you're renting me. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not the goal. Um, so, okay. Wait, we never finished it. So I stay in places. Uh, yeah. I'd rather stay at somebody's house. I don't, I don't like the, like it's something impersonal about being in a hotel. Yeah. Some people love it. See, it depends for me. Like, it depends on the hotel because I can, I get weirded out about, like, germs and stuff sure. and people, like, sleeping. So, <laughs> well, okay, so that's a good question. In the same bed. So is, are there more germs in this hotel room than there are in my buddy's house, you think? It depends on your buddy, honestly. <laughs> okay. I'm like, I don't know. Okay, Who are so you wait, hanging out let's with? Go, let's go through the, well, I'm trying to hang out with adult people at this point in my life, but, but you know, uh. But there's been times when I wasn't. So, uh, what, okay, so what, so how do you mitigate germs? Like, are you, when somebody walks in your house, shoes off immediately? Um, so, yes. I, especially if I've just, like, deeply cleaned the house. So, yeah. we, I'm a Romney Chow um, gypsy. Okay. So, I don't know what any of those words uh, mean. So, Rum, Romney Chows are a tribe from um, uh, Europe okay. that come from Romania, and then they migrated okay. to uh, England and Scotland. So I'm incredible, like I, I'm really OCD okay. and I don't know if those things actually of... go hand in hand. Okay. Well, well being cleanly is a, is if you're, if you're dirty, if you're a dirty girl, it's really frowned upon. Sure. And I'm like. Culturally. Sure. Yeah. Got it. So I've just always been raised to like be a neat freak. So. Yeah. My roommate, Harley Jade, is the complete opposite okay. of a neat okay. freak. Okay. I'm going to blast her out yeah, right sure. now. Do it. She, oh Take my it God. all out. She, she just, you know, she's very, I think, artistic. And a lot of people that are artistic. This is a weird cover. Are, but okay, I'm, I'm, I'll follow. I'll take this. I'll, I'll a lot of people it. that are artistic, like, they're, they're scatterbrained sure. sometimes. Well, there's organization, and, but it doesn't necessarily manifest, manifest right, itself. Right, through, in through like, the, the house. dishes. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, so Harley will like just destroy her room yeah. and I I like but it's but as you're like it's in your room I, I just leave it in there yeah yeah so 
sometimes though when I like walk through the house like I bought these air purifiers I okay. bought three of them I the bought little, the, like a little joint that's, that's no 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 like they were like $200 yeah, a yeah, piece yeah. yeah so I bought these like really nice HEPA air purifiers yeah. um, that d- it does like a turbo cycle it, and it takes out germs okay. smells like allergens, allergens mites, and then like sure. yeah and okay. then general clean okay so I love I love my um, my air filters well Harley had had been gone for like two weeks. She has no idea what she's walking into. Right. Well, she knows that I was like cleaning the house. Well, yeah. a lot of times when she leaves, she comes back and I've just been like like cleaning, and right. the house smells like bleach, and yeah. she's like. Now, is, are those I, related things? She's gone. She's so like, I can clean everything now. Yeah, it's like me organizing the world. I'm like, she's gone. I'm just gonna clean, and so when I come home, it's gonna be clean, and then she's gonna take her shoes off and. And you know, not not met, not make anything dirty. Right. So, um, and I, but I'm, I have obsessive compulsive disorder. So yeah. Yeah. like, I overly clean things. Um, like, have you ever cleaned and, something so hard that you like you took the paint off it? Like you fucked something up? No, I. Th- I've been there. I used to be like that with my hand. Well, okay, with your no. Hands? Yeah. So I I used to wash my hands so much until I finally started to learn that. Um, that germs, uh, you can't wash the good bacteria right. off of your hands right. or you're gonna get more sick. Sure. And the, my fingertips were hurting. Okay. Try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. Sucks. <laughs> so. No, I have the same, well, I have the same, it's not the same, but it's the, I had that level because I, uh, I was out bite my nails. And yeah. I was biting my nails long before I was fingering girls. Mm-hmm. So I didn't know. Exactly. That I, you know, I gotta, I have, I have some level of nail to protect my right. finger. So anyway, the um, the moral of or my whole my whole point to this story is she that Harley in, came home. <laughs> no, she came moral. home and I was like, I hired a maid just to clean the whole house. And she, I was like, Hey, are you gonna come home to clean before the maid comes? And she was like, I don't want the maid to go in my room at all. And I was like, Oh my god, the only reason I hired a maid was so was room. for your room. Right. My room is I'm clean. I'm doing fine but on like, my own. Okay, yeah. I I will tell on myself a bit. Like my closet is a mess, yeah, and I mean, you know, like I'm I clutter my yeah, clothes. Clutter doesn't doesn't mean filth though. Yeah, well, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say she's like filthy, <laughs> but um... well, that's just because we're gonna see her in a second. Yeah, we are gonna see her. Gonna so she she's just always for your gone. Standard. She's always gone. Yeah, for my standard. Your level, you I'm like, I'm like, what happened in here? Yeah. So I put one of the air filters. I don't know if she knows that you I did this. No, well, I tried to put it in a room, but I didn't want to go in a room because I didn't want to like, like breathe in any germs. So you, you, didn't I... want, you, you didn't want to not go in a room, <laughs> so... not to disturb her things or, or to invade her privacy. You didn't want to breathe her dirty ass air. Oh yeah, exactly. So I put so I put this air filter in the hallway. Right next to the door. Yeah, cuz she Hilarious. was like, I'll be home in a second. So I took mine out of my room and I put it right like next full to sprint. Yeah, and I put Plugged it on it turbo in. and Hilarious. pointed it towards her room and I did it so passive aggressively and this was right before we came to New York. Yeah. And I was like 5 minutes ago. Yeah, exactly. So I was Hilarious. just waiting. I was like I was just like standing there looking at her like for her to come in the door and see it and yeah. then she kind of started to clean her room after that but my friend my friend is staying at my house right now and he was like wow the house is so clean it looks great because right. I had the maid come and yeah. you know I like also cleaned and then all the smoke alarms started going off like the smoke detectors yeah. so, like the batteries are dying and um, so he had to go in her room to cut it off wow. and he was like what happened in what Harley's room? room? And I was it's like a, a singular I was, earthquake. I was like, she's been really busy lately. That's she so hasn't funny. had time to clean. That's so it. funny. All right, so you were telling me uh, before we started actually that that the level of germs in New York. Now that you're like you like you're cognizant of it, you you know you're trying you're trying extra hard not to get sick because the stuff yeah. keeps up coming up. You've been wearing a SARS mask. Yes. You've been. You've I have been, a cool. It's cool too. Hold on. Look at this. Are you gonna? Do sh- you have a personalized art? Put yeah. It on. Put it on. Hold on, so I broke it on the plane, um, so I have to put my hair up to... You broke I broke the, the, the ear loops that, that tighten it. Because pressure I put and it, stress? Because I was trying to put it around my ponytail. Because you were so aggressive Because I wanted it. to make it tighter, so I put it around my ponytail. <laughs> okay. Okay, so wait, what part broke? The ear loops that, that tighten it. This is Now, by the way, it doesn't affect the podcast at all, because we can't even, we can't hear that you're wearing it. Yeah, I know, right? you look right? like a lunatic. No, no, I no don't. problem. Okay, because it look doesn't. so cute. No, it doesn't look like a SARS mask. It looks like you're gonna rob a fucking bank. I know. That's the cool thing about it. 
but nobody knows why you're wearing it. Exactly. Everybody's it, scared. Yeah, it's really creepy. Everybody <laughs> looks and at you me. Just talk, like, you'll just talk to, like, well, like, like, the, like the flight attendant, just normal, I'll, like, like, it's like a normal yeah, thing. Yeah, and I'll, like, smile at people because I'm a smiley person. Sure. Well, you and can't, so I'm, but, like, So then how do you around. know if they know that you're smiling? Wait, put it back well, on and smile. <laughs> I don't understand. What do you mean? <laughs> So how do I know that you're smiling? This is why I made you come here, because I was going to show up at wherever we were going to go. And you were going to be gonna freaked be out. Like, ah, no, you were going to be freaked oh, out. Oh, in the mask. <laughs> yeah. oh, fair enough. Wait, okay, so, yeah, it just looks like crazy eyes. You don't, you can't tell that's a smile. Do, like, they are crazy now, eyes. Fr- now frown. Or like, okay, give me like, is that a frown? Okay, give me like a serious look. I can't, I'm laughing. <laughs> you're a comedian. None of it, you're, you're none of it looks any different. You got to understand how not different any of this looks. I'm smiling with my eyes. This is insane. This is going to be incredible footage, though. I mean, this is, everybody's <laughs> going to listen to this because of the five seconds you're wearing that mask. That's so, insane. I mean, I think that, you know... But you were telling me, you were telling me something... I, I stopped you from telling a story because uh, I, I was like, let's do it on the cast. But yeah. something happened at the airport. So, okay, I flew first class because I'm like... Because you're I, a I don't, bitch. Yeah, well, no, not really. I just <laughs> didn't want to get sick. I'm like, I've Why got... Why is I've in got first two, class? Well, I've got two weeks in in New York. I, yeah. I don't want to get sick. I got to go back to LA. I've got shit I'm doing. So, um, the uh, like first class, you have premier access. You're uh, boarding faster, yeah. so you're spending less time in the airport, and there's less people so up there because less... it's kind of it's closed off. But then, they, but then they're gonna walk through. No, they, not, oh, on, through not on not uh, oh, on Virgin. The side. Okay, no, perfect. they can't. They because Wait, uh, they, right. you go this way and they go that way. Yeah, got it. they can't come up to the bathrooms. The, up front. Yeah, the, the the one time that I did, I was I, first, and then just the the looks and the mm-hmm. whole thing when people were walking by you. I yeah. think that's way more germs. I think because there's hate germs there too. Like yeah, they're, they're angry. They're like, yeah, the germs are jumping off of people. <laughs> Here, to on you. get sick. Yeah. yeah. So there were so many people like they were there were what probably 12 people in first class and so i flew because i flew first class and i'm like i'm not gonna get sick i'm gonna you know just relax whatever and um everyone on that airplane was sneezing and coughing like i thought these i thought that these flight attendants were gonna start passing out airborne instead of like peanuts i was but but no one else was noticing that this was happening no 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 the guy behind me every time this this older gentleman would cough and sneeze he would be like that's disgusting in the most like yeah in the saying it out loud yeah in like in like obnoxiously like and i was like and I think it was probably because I was wearing my mask and everybody's like, this girl obviously cannot get sick. Right. And I'm like, I'm not sick. And so I like was making it a point to tell people I'm not sick. And I, yeah, I used to think that people were wearing the mask, at, not out of uh, weird paranoia, but like they're sick. and Yeah, and they don't want to get other people like that, sick. That was an Asian culture thing. They, they wear it so that yeah. they don't give other people so shit. So I think that, uh, sure, in some places, but I, I, you can't get me to fly if I'm sick. So you, so that. you, so... Everywhere you go, you wear this mask? Um, in New York, yes. Okay. okay. Like, Fair enough. <laughs> I can't get sick. I have to be all healthy. Yeah. I look cuter healthy. I think we all do. Yeah. So, wait, so this is what I said. So, okay, so. <laughs> Probably you, looks so, no, so, 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 so I'm at the stage where I think everything's funny. That guy finally reached that stage. I don't know what it, if it's like some sort of like, it's like the Buddha of, you know, like, like that's the Of level. comedy? Yeah. yeah like, like, I think it was funny. But you know, the harder part is trying to figure out how to get that. Uh, to other people, you know, that's that's the hardest yeah. part of comedy is is we see something that's funny, we know it's funny, mm-hmm. but we gotta like backtrack and like do like a mile of runway for you to realize to why laugh. that out of context thing is funny. Yeah. I gotta put the whole context. So I think I think that a lot of things are funny. So, so but I have a dry sense of humor though. I have a and I have a really dirty sense of humor. You, I don't yeah, like I think, I'm, I think I'm we all super do. jaded. Like we all have that, and then and then the problem is sometimes when people like want to pretend like that's not a part of it. Yeah. Because that's the, we all know that's the easy laugh. Yeah. Just going dirty, and they yeah, and some people yeah. go, I don't I don't respect people that go dirty. Well, it's because you no, know, it's easier, but it's like we. We all yeah, have that childish thing. A fart is funny. We all love it. Yeah, yeah, we love it. We want to hear about it. Yeah. And you know, and a well-executed dick joke is, you know, it's 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 like a fine wine. But I like it. So on the subway, and there's a lady. So, um, you know, so okay, the way the subway ends, with, I don't know what train it is. It's, so it's so it's either the uh, the four or five or I guess it's probably the four or five because mm-hmm. it's benches. Okay. So other trains, you know, it's got the it's got the weird geometry yeah. of the city. 
So it's all benches. I guess it could be the two threes. So it's all benches, and it's got like the thing on the end. So I'm in the. I, I try to stand at the doorway because of my germ shit. I don't want to touch anything. He's speaking like New York to me. I'm like, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> so on the subway, I, would you have to take the subway at all? I did for the two weeks I stayed in New York, okay. and I'm gonna force Harley to take it. Yeah. But honestly, like. I'm thinking about it, and it just feels like a hot box of like. Yeah, you don't want to be if, if you're jerks. having all this shit. All, you're about already? to tell me. You're about to tell me like this story, and I'm gonna be traumatized. No, like. no, 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 because no. because because <laughs> it because it, it didn't exist in reality. So this woman oh. is sitting on the edge, and there's a person next to her coughing. Uh huh. And every time the person coughs, she's like jumping, like visually. Uh, uh, and physically affected mm -hmm. by the cough. Like, she's, like, getting away from the person. <laughs> and I find it so funny. And I don't have... Like, I don't know anybody in the train. And, I, and, I, and I've reached a point in my life where there's no... Like, I, I, I'm, like... I feel like I'm in control of my own embarrassment, so I, I, don't, mm -hmm. I can't get embarrassed. So... So just for me, I start... Like, every time she, like, hopped a little closer to me, I started fake coughing. <laughs> so, then she, so then he would cough on this side, and he's really coughing. Yeah. And then I was fake coughing on this side, and she was just getting, like... <laughs> Claustrophobic, locked in this little thing, but I was loving totally. it so much. I was having such a hard time trying to figure out how to fake cough and not laugh, but it was it was one of the best things. Oh my god! I mean, Where I feel bad for the lady, but she's also she's kind of wrong. Why? If you have that much fear uh, of, of germs, don't be on the subway. Don't sit down. Don't be on the subway. Yeah. And like, don't just. And also, she's kind of rude. Like, fine. He like if somebody like pulls a booger out near me, I'm gonna uh -huh. get up and I'm gonna move. I'm not gonna just. I'm not gonna wince away and make that person feel like an asshole. I'm gonna yeah. do it on my own. Yeah. Go away. I don't want you to touch by your booger, obviously. Yeah. I'll go away. That I will say. I'm afraid of boogers. See, that is that's such a okay. That's a New York attitude. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like, go away. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't look at it. Yeah. You know. We'll remove yourself from it. Yeah. So. Okay. Right. Well, I right, can well, appreciate that. So airport SARS mask, um, <laughs> coughing on a lady. This this is literally this is the, this is the list that I wrote. Coughing on a is lady. this supposed to be blinking or is it gonna die? What this or that? No, this is good. This is this is this is telling me that it's on and that it's uh, and that Wi-Fi is. I don't know. Oh, it's a GoPro. We just plug GoPro. Send me a free GoPro. All right. So um, <laughs> so the most okay. The, the thing that happened the most recently was it was Valentine's Day last week. It was. Do you how do you feel about Valentine's Day? What's your favorite holiday? I flew on Valentine's okay. Day, and Valentine's so Day isn't Valentine's really Day. a holiday. Like that. Okay. I'm, I agree with that. I mean, that's it's a I Hallmark holiday. I have very personal holiday. feelings about Valentine's Do Day. Do you? Well, it's two days before my birthday. This sounds like, yeah, like you've been jaded. Well, you know so, what? So, so if I'm in a relationship, my ber my oh. birthday is directly affected by how good of a Valentine's oh Day my, I create for my person. Oh, my God. So if I, so if I bomb Valentine's Day, oh. then all of my presents go back to the store. So, or at least those are the people that have dated it. So anyway. you know what? Speaking of being jaded, so <laughs> yeah. okay. um, Harley, okay. Harley Jade, yeah. um, her birthday is Christmas Eve, mm. and she's a twin. Oh, Jesus. So she's like, she gets like a triple whammy, yeah. and she, she really... Gets no, she gets basically no appreciation. Yeah, that so whole time. so she hates holidays, but I okay. I am like yeah. So you're gonna ask her these yeah, questions. No, no. I'm gonna be in here for moral support because oh, she's great. gonna her face. She's gonna be like, oh perfect. I got some I got some inside um, info. So I love throwing parties. I okay. am such a favorite I, holiday. Uh, I don't know anything I can bake a cake for. Really? Like, yeah, like I love Christmas. Okay. I love um, I love giving presents. I love people's birthdays. Okay. So I I just have to show you my friend. Uh, Sam, he. Can we can we shout out Sam? I, I yeah, every time you say shout that, out I feel to like Sam. We can't, we can't figure if we can um, shout him out or not. I made my friend Sam a uh, fox cake. I don't know what that means. It was made out of fox, you. or it looked like a fox. No, it looked like a fox. Because that's where we're at in life. Is like like mom would be like yeah. mom would make mom would make cakes for me as a kid, but you would call it what the what it resembled. Yeah, but that's, now that's... in in this day and age, with people so thinking that restaurants are a big it. deal. It's literally usually made it's out of fox. fox. I don't understand. Oh, you don't want me to touch it. Oh, no, it's fine. This is. Um, okay, it's a fox. It's a fox head. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, it's very cute. Cute. So yeah. I made him that, and uh, his baker. birthday's the day after Thanksgiving. Um, mm. Yeah, all my friends. I'm like, we're gonna it's, go wait, back and. This count. year was the day after Thanksgiving. Yeah. So this, yeah, this past year was the day after Thanksgiving. So we did Thanksgiving, and I made him a fox cake, and so I, I, I will do. It, a fox cake. it, it it's was. So funny. It's, it's it was so cute. So <laughs> I I will do anything. Like somebody's sick, I'm like, oh my god, let cake me time. let me make you something. Fucking cake time. Soup, cake, whatever you okay. want. Like no shit. like I'm from West Virginia, so yeah. I was technically like.
like bred to be a housewife. Yeah, not sure. inbred. Um. <laughs> it's so funny. So like in the Northeast, you can always find that you can always talk about towns, and then mm-hmm. you talk about what the what like the worst town around is. Yeah. You know, like you, if you're from Syracuse, you just find like a shittier suburb. Syracuse. Where I'm from. So, so, <laughs> I have so, friends from Syracuse. So I'm from Baldwinsville, and so our suburb is kind of shitty. So we have to find a worse suburb like Solve to make yeah. fun of. So I go around, you know, the country a lot of times trying to figure out what the shitty places. And for some reason, in absence of a of a shitty suburb, they just go to West Virginia. Yeah. When I get in that area. That's they what just, happens. That's the butt of all Everybody's the like West, West Virginia, Virginia, right here. West. Yeah. So. So um, yeah. So I love like make, giving people presents. I and so okay. Basically, I threw Harley a surprise birthday party, and I wanted to sh- throw her an anti-holiday party, but we didn't have time to put it together. I don't, I don't even know how that works. An anti-holiday party. Yeah, because party? you can't because so okay, but I was gonna party. celebrate. Yeah, it was a so huge she party. Hate parties. She doesn't hate she parties. She hates holidays. She hates holidays. Okay. Yeah, she hates celebrating things. Right. right. So, so that's the same, right? So it's kind of like it's like a. It's an anti-party party. Yeah, so I have like a forced celebration fetish. So like, <laughs> so I planned this whole entire party, and she's really big into raves and like okay. EDMing sure. or whatever, yeah. but EDM music. Yeah, and I like the I like the people that aren't in it. They just don't. They just yeah, it's whatever. EDMing. Yeah, I don't know. yeah, whatever like she's really into whatever that. that so she drags me along so to things, fun. and I'm like. Have you learned anything? Do you, it's like well, so I feel like that's I'm an environment big... you can't be forced into, and then decide to like it. Well. I'll, okay, I have more on this later. Okay. We'll get right back to this oh, okay. after this story. Please. So I basically <laughs> decorated this whole Mediterranean restaurant, which okay. was, it's like a cool, cool, like new like, place. Uh, oh, it's oh, in no, LA. No, okay, I thought you made it. No, no, no. It's an actual Mediterranean, <laughs> Mediterranean restaurant. I thought you made your apartment in a Okay, you <laughs> no. went to a Mediterranean restaurant. So we went to, and, and we that. surprised her. She cried. It was wonderful. Okay. I was like, yeah. Every year you for your it. birthday, this is going to happen. So That's so. all I've wanted for like, 34 years is yeah. someone to give me a fucking surprise Oh my surprise god, party. just be my friend. Jesus. Like So Katie Morgan, yeah. uh, who's like my other best friend, sure. she's like my big sister, um, her birthday is St. Patrick's Day. Okay. So I decided like two days before that I was going to throw her a surprise party, and apparently nobody had ever thrown her a surprise party. That's, nobody gives so, people surprise oh parties. Oh my god, I played what? two for my father and one for my grandfather. Yeah. I had I, I had a little bit uh, to do the grandfather one, but they're great. I love surprise parties. And then so, people feel like they have to give but speeches. But nobody it's ever like does this thing. for my birthday. Like right. nobody ever does surprise things hint, for my birthday. Hint, people. I am the yeah. I'm like someone surprise and me. And hint, hint, <laughs> me. somebody give me a. Fun- like I like I, I like I've been should, like I like what if it's if I'm dating somebody's near my birthday I'll start introducing yeah. them to long lost friends and yeah. stories yeah, like, so that they know who to call. You guys should exchange numbers. You gotta make sure that you yeah, call my friends. cousin that's hey, in Miami because be this Facebook is gonna happen. Friends. I know I don't see him all the time, but for a surprise <laughs> you, party, he better be here. You create a whole Facebook group, like if if Just I in case. for a hypothetical long surprise friends. party, this is this People is who that I would I invite. Would love to see that I haven't seen in a long time. <laughs> hint, hint. So, um, Katie, I threw her a party, and, like, nobody goes to sushi on St. Patrick's Day. That's, like, I right. mean, yeah, that's, like, the most un-American, I mean, right. or the most un-Irish thing. Right. I don't know. Yeah. I guess that's... Well, and they don't even serve beer. Yeah, and so... And nobody goes sake bombing so, on, on uh, so, St. Patrick's Day. So, Katie loves sushi. Okay. So, we did Tokyo Delves. We went. It was crazy. There was, like, 30 people that showed up. That's awesome. And I had like a set menu, and I did this all in less than twenty. That's it was awesome. like less than twenty four hours. And I honestly, put it all that's together. The, that's the best. The problem when you plan to be a surprise party is any period of time mm-hmm. before you get people you can fuck it up. Yeah, you could fuck it up big. Mm-hmm. And so I had Evan Stone like bring her in, and she had no idea. She just thought he w- she he was taking her to dinner. Yeah. And then we surprised on the birthday. Yeah. That's and, great. And she was like. Oh, God, we, nobody's ever done this for Because me. of how, how far I've had to plan people's stuff, we always try to do it on some off day. Like some, yeah. some day that it wouldn't have anything to do. Like there's no reason you should think it. Yeah. Because uh, if it's on your day. Right. Or it's like, what are we going to do? Like it's like, because then you always have the risk of like, what are we going to do for my birthday? And then you got to go, nothing. We're going to do nothing. Yeah. Because you can't. Well, no, you know I mean? no, that's not how you do it. You, you You're doing fit, it you all wrong. Plan. You're like, huh, <laughs> we should just, uh, let's go to like, dinner and then you know like the favorite club or whatever right. and like so you kind of hint at what you're going to do for the surprise party yeah. but then but, it deads it yeah okay and then and sense. then they're like oh okay cool yeah so that's liar. enough i'm not really <laughs> the worst i feel like you're not <laughs> don't you have to make oh, up you. stories to be funny no, like see, i don't believe in that we'll talk about that if oh. you want. i believe in, in like my mom and my sister are the best exaggerators on earth they'll tell a story and like eventually in the story you look at the family you're like None of this even happened. <laughs> and she's just telling our family. 
but it's great. You know, it's great. There's something great about yeah. it. Yeah. I could never do that. I can't. I can't go that far out of the realm of reality. I have, yeah. to, I have to find what's funny about what's actually happening. Yeah. At some level. You're okay. an Aquarius. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever all this things happen. Katie Morgan asked Red with very tears. Did she, yeah, she cried. Uh, Sorry, tears. I think something completely different. Sure. I'm like, what are we talking yeah, about with tears? That can mean a lot of weird things with right. me. We don't even have to talk about okay, that. Okay, so how many people's <laughs> surprise parties have you planned? Mm, probably like four. This is amazing. Yeah, I I love birthdays. I've been my best friend um, Emily and I uh, shout out Emily. Shout out. I don't know why I'm shouting everybody out. I've never had my own radio so show. So she, uh, that's what it is. <laughs> but right. you know what? When, I, when Katie and I had a radio show, I used to shout out everyone. I'm like, it's not even a shout thing. Out. It's not even thing people do anymore. Yeah, and they're like, what? Shout like, out. Why don't, you, don't say my name on the radio. God. <laughs> like, well, see, yeah, who cares? I'm like getting friends texting me. We're not live, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? So, um, basically, what was I going to say? Oh, if something good. Oh, so Emily and I have been making each other's birthday cakes, and her birthday's coming up. So, okay. I don't know what I'm going to do because she's back home in West Virginia, and like she just got married. and. So, you're going to mail her a cake? Gonna I'm going to gonna have to, to like, it? have somebody deliver it to her or something. Or I'm just going to have to show up on her birthday. Yeah. Well, but, I mean, it's close. Her birthday is, I think it's March 4th. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's, so it's no really yeah, close. I yeah. I won't have my shit together before yeah. I have this thing released. By exactly. <laughs> Do you have your shit together? I have my shit some, would somewhat you con- together. Would you consider I have my shit yourself together somebody more. that has their shit together? I have more of my shit together than other people in, in, this, in this business, yeah. as a general rule. Okay. But then there's a lot of free-floating shit that happens in this business that I can't control and I haven't figured out how to control right. it. Right. And so sometimes I just go, you know what, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. And, and how so long have you been doing comedy? Thing. So I got here in 05. So I've been doing oh, comedy. Wow. That's, I guess it's 12 years now. Which oh, kinda, fun. Which feels sad. Wait, did you say you were at the Laugh Factory? Did no. Did you I, say, where were you at? No, when I did, what, what did I, when I was in L.A. I played, no, 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 uh, the other day. Oh, Stand Up New York. Oh. Yeah. <clears> okay, never mind. Um, there's no there's no laugh factory in New York anymore. They, uh, they killed that club and um, they changed the name three times and now it's and now it's literally a haunted house. That's what that's that's the value of comedy. Wow. Is that it turned into a haunted house? My friend it's has like a now. little little thing he says about me when I'm near. He like I go to like my friends' uh, comedy shows yeah. all the time and Shout and out when I yeah Adam Hunter. Okay, Adam I Hunter. love Adam. <laughs> he's he's fucking rocks. He's mm-hmm. about to get. Um, about to get engaged. Oh, I mean, he, he's about to get married. He's already engaged. Okay. Um, but so I'll go. Adam does this little like uh, comedy club thing at the Dime, um, yeah. and it's like a free show because they're just trying to generate sure. stuff at the bar. Um, and he does that like on Tuesday nights. Uh, it's like his thing. So I will go, and when he's not playing a big show, and if I stand up, he says like. He's like, this is my friend Charlotte. She's so cute. And I'm like, okay, I like where this is going. So, you de- so then you deliberately stand no, up? No, I don't. Oh. I try to not stand up. <laughs> and um, I just went to go grab grab a drink last time. And he was like, this is my friend Charlotte. And then he was like, um, she's in school. She's like one of the few porn stars that are actually like like doing porn to, to, to pay, pay for bills. school. Sure, yeah, sure. to yeah. pay for school. <laughs> And so he'll he'll kind of uh, tease me a little bit, and I like it. It's fun. It feeds my narcissism. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're so that's what we we're saying before, and I and, and this is this is kind of where some of the ideas for uh, the origin of this podcast came from. Is I think our industries are, are similar. I think I think there's probably the same amount of people trying to do comedy as there are trying to do porn. Yeah, and there I are a lot of porn people trying to do comedy. Well, and that's the that's the other oh, one that's right. happening now. Well, because here's here's the thing. Uh, it, it, it works <laughs> so at this at this stage in entertainment all you have to do to get into comedy is just be somebody that people know so you, so you have uh, I don't know tens of thousands of Twitter followers yeah, right you so know. just have that you walk into a club you go hey uh, people know who I am and then they'll put you on stage, <laughs> on stage. they don't they don't care yeah not to say that the people that are doing uh, comedy that were that were in your industry are bad at comedy because I don't have specific examples right uh, but Maybe there are people that are getting on stage in comedy. There are people getting on stage in comedy um, because of followings and things like that, and and they didn't pay their dues, and that you know. So it's the same kind of thing. Uh, But then there's also people that are that are trying to get in that Mm -hmm. end up getting in and hate it. Yeah, aren't good at it. Yeah, and they get out or they feel exploited. Yeah, you know that happens a lot. Like girls are 
girls are not prepared sometimes when they come in and they think they're going to make all this money yeah. and just be famous so yeah. quickly. And I'm like, listen, just because you're taking it up the ass on camera for a couple of, like, <laughs> you know, a little over a thousand dollars, you're like, yeah. And it and it's the same. It's the same in comedy. Yeah. Not 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 you're specifically. Not, famous, with the, right. not specifically with things going up your ass, but you're in a basement <laughs> for free for people that right. don't give a shit, and uh, and it hurts. It, yeah. I mean, it really hurts every time. It's a penetrating feeling. Is it? To, to to say something that you think is in your heart that you think has value, and to just have a room of people stare at you. That's an open mic. It's a little, just little masochistic. It, it would. I don't. Yeah. I don't know what the equivalent <laughs> of formal. It would just be. It would just be. Uh, Masturbating forever, never coming. Like that's what that's what the first five years of comedy is for the yeah. most part. For most it's people, just solo masturbation no scenes. Come. Just no, just nothing ever. See, I feel like coming is not the uh, is not the reward in porn. Like not in porn. That's for true. <laughs> for that's me, true. I'm like just write me the check. Right. <laughs> I'm like, but the laugh is the reward in comedy. And yeah. So without that, it's just a, it's a fiasco, and you have to you have to get a thick skin. You have to figure it out, and you have to be comfortable. With yeah, p- p- parts of a joke might not work for a while. Somebody, you know, you need to have me in every show. Yeah. So um, when Adam was doing this uh, thing, somebody that went on, I forgot who it was. He was so funny. Oh, I'm going to have to go back and look. It's my favorite thing that people um, do. I wonder if it, if, it, if, it, if it goes. So they'll go, oh, I was at the comedy club last week. I said, mm-hmm. awesome. Uh, I said, who'd you see? Yeah. And they go, uh it was uh, I guy, usually he remember hair, uh, and he was talking about well, his mom. Well, see, I usually remember, but there I saw like 10 different people yeah. that night. So, but this guy was like, I love watching people's expressions when I tell jokes. Like this girl right here, I was pointing at me. He's like, "You look like like you're going to be a great mom one day." And I'm like, "If he only knew." Yeah. Holy shit. Um, sometimes, yeah, sometimes the person so, says is, is way off. Yeah, but. and he's like, "You're going to be well, everybody tells me that. I think it's cuz I bake cakes for oh, all my friends." So maybe, maybe They're it's like, true. "You're going to be a great mom." I'm like, Are you "This be a mom one day? is for decoration only." You know who's about like, to be a mom? Who? Jennifer Aniston. Oh my After god. After all of that bullshit? Wow. They liked each other? Good for her. Good for her. Sorry, I don't know why they, I don't know why I worked away. So well, I just saw it at the grocery store. My uter my uterus is only for decoration. Okay. I'm like 22, you know. Decoration, dec- mm-hmm. decorative uterus. Okay. Yeah. So, uh-huh. um, this guy was like, "You're gonna be a great mom one day. You're like that soccer mom who, who your face, you just it seems like you have so much pride when somebody tells a joke where you wow. laugh and you're like, that was so okay, good. Okay, that, 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 that might not you. be wrong. I feel like you're a compassionate so, person. Yeah, yeah. You know, I try you, to. Be. You might not be wrong on all all accounts. So just that. I'm gonna be. I'm, I'm like, just want everybody to know. I'm. It have no interest in being a mom. No interest. Keep your keep your cum outside of my vagina. You know, it's only respectful. Um, all right. So Valentine's he's day like, oh my god, we have to make her stop talking about sex. No, no, no. no. So that's, that's <laughs> okay. So the so the, the podcast is called Porn Stars of People, and we talked about it a little bit beforehand, just from the standpoint of I've seen the way people talk to porn stars and yeah. it's gross and I, did, I just don't want to go down those lines look yeah. I mean on stage I'm, I talk about calm I talk about no that's not my act I don't know why I said but you know you t- I talk about releases you talk <laughs> about like, sex I don't it's talk about calm 45 minutes I talk about calm come see me I'm going on tour in two weeks come see all it's a come show it's incredible <laughs> no um, but but all those things come up so it's like you know right. I'm trying to find the barrier well, and the you intersection know, I think, of what these things are I think and where we can go and not go I think it's important to I just don't want you to sit be, here and well like, yeah Exactly. Just get way into the thing. I, I don't want to. I it. think that it that it's important to be able to talk about sexuality yeah. in in an open light. Um, yeah. Now you know I I I don't know. I grew up in like a really small town in West Virginia. My yeah, dad's do you a preacher. See the town or no? Um, is it too small? For I saying? mean, no. It's I mean, yeah. Nobody would know it, okay. but um, kind of close to Virginia Tech. Uh, okay. Sure. I don't, yeah. I don't know what's I don't know what's it the, either, but it's in Bla- Blacksburg is Virginia okay, Tech. Enough. But like uh so like Bluefield, uh, Virginia, West Virginia and my house like my house is literally divided by the line. The Virginia West oh, Virginia that's hilarious. line. Like Wait, how inside your inside your house? Yeah, so my mine and my brother's bedrooms no. uh were in West Virginia. No, this so isn't my real. mom gets so mad. My mom is like, You're lying. So like our bedrooms are in West Virginia and this isn't this, would, sound, this doesn't sound real. This sounds like a Willy Wonka. No, plot. this, this is, is serious. Really so like and then the rest of the house and like so like the You're yard like, just and get everything. out of my shit. Just yeah. go to West Virginia. Yeah. Anybody <laughs> from West Virginia doesn't get to talk to me for the next no, 30 my mom, minutes. No, my That's mom my mom would get so mad because so she lives in Virginia <laughs> and you live in West Virginia. 
That's incredible. No, she would get mad because I would tell everybody, yeah, I'm from West Virginia. And she's like, no, you're you not. You are not from no, West you're Virginia. Not. And I'm like, mom, yes, I'm I like, am. Just took a shit in West Virginia. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, I, I spent all my time in West Virginia. I'm, I incredible. sleep there. How can you put a house on two states? That doesn't make any sense. Because, okay, you have Bluefield, Virginia, and you have Bluefield, West Virginia. And they're, so Bluefield. So it's uh, kind of like uh, um, Kansas City. Yeah, Kansas, sure. Kansas City, Kansas, Kansas City. Yeah, Florida. exactly. So it's like... It's right there. Okay, yeah, interesting. both. So you can be in like four states really at once, oh, actually. You've got Carolina down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No shit. All of that's, the, that's an incredible story. It's a small town. So, oh, oh I was going to tell you about EDM. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah that, this that is seems such like a, a great a, story. A oh, my God. And I finally, okay, I'm going to freak out. This is okay. the best thing ever. So, so you, figured out, you figured out liking so EDM. That I've, was my question, basically. I've, Okay, as a kid, I used to, oh, not a kid, but like I was like 16, and I used to burn CDs for the guy I liked and his friends. Making a mixtape so, for somebody was like the sexiest thing you could do. Yeah, so I and used like, to burn like, them CDs. We wouldn't even write cards. That's our generation. We would literally, mm -hmm. we would just make people mixtapes. Yeah. So and they would tell our whole story. So they would give me a list of like songs, though. So, yeah. um,. I would download them on BearShare. Yeah, and, yeah I remember BearShare. Oh, my that's God. So funny. I, that's th so that's funny. That's where I downloaded my first porn accidentally, yeah. too. I was like, yeah. oh, accidentally? what am I watching? No, I, no I, I, was, I, was always, I, I was trying to download porn a lot of times, and I was accidentally downloading no, anything like, like anything other than else porn. than porn? Yeah. No, they, it got to that. It, porn, it did yeah. get to that point for me. So like, But anyway, so um, we have BearShare to thank for me being Bear a porn Share. star. They're sharing Jesus, so <laughs> so my uh, parents would not let they wouldn't allow me to listen to secular music, so um, I could only listen to Christian music, and what? yeah, so I, I would download I would download these songs on Bear Share, and I had this little blue MP3 player, but you had a and hunt. no, so they knew I had it, and I would change the I would change the names of the songs Hilarious. to. Um, Christian songs. So funny. Well, one day my mom was uh, uh, teaching choir, and no. so I had downloaded this song, and um, I had changed it to like "I Can Only Imagine" uh -huh. by I think it's like Mercy Me or whatever. Yeah, it was and the thong song by Cisco. No, even better. So, <laughs> um, so my mom, we were like in choir, or whatever. My mom like goes to play the song, and she's like, "Okay, we're gonna start with I Can you Only Imagine." Yeah, I was there. But, so, so you I'm know like, what's about to happen. Yeah, and I'm like. Why can't you stop her? Because because I didn't. I had to pretend like I was innocent. No, here, that's a so, situation where you, where you, where you so, take the thing and you just start <laughs> stomping it, and you're like, oh, I, I don't know. No, I like they were so much more durable <laughs> back then. Like that never would have worked. Throw it in water. So, chuck it out the window. Okay. So then she turns it on, and it's Borgor ice cream. I don't know. So this, it's, wait, what is he's, this it's called it's called ice cream. It was like one of Borgor's first. I don't I, know what Borgor. Is. So I say I say his name's so weird, but it. it I think I like stress. Sing the song. Uh, can we just play no, it? I want you to sing no, it. it's like all these bitches want to lick my ice cream. Okay, sure. Yeah. Wow. And so that's aggressive. Yeah. yeah. And so wow. it was what he. So I've been like obsessed with him ever since because my mom played the song and she was like, Oh my god! So, and she like you, yelled at me, uh, like the whole choir, like 30, 30 wow. kids okay, so my age. Yeah. yeah. But, still, but my mom, still my mom still yelled. She was so mad. She was like, do you understand what this means? I'm like, obviously somebody wants to eat his ice cream. <laughs> <Take it> literal. <laughs> And my mom oh, she was, was like, trying to explain to you. Yeah, no, she was what yelling at me like, like this is wrong, and were. you have this playing. And I was like, I, I'm gonna delete my bear share. I'm so traumatized. I'm so sorry. But this is like, all an act. Yeah, yeah. No, it, I was a little shit. Like, <laughs> like. Um, so I met Borgor here the other day. Oh shit! Yes. On so I, yes. So okay. I've been trying to It'd meet be him. Weird to just run in so there, all yeah, all of is. my friends are friends with him because like like okay, so Harley's boyfriend is like a really big DJ okay. and um and then all like his friend just toured with it, it was it doing a tour so we were out here and I was and then my friend Ray Vol uh, Volpe. I think I can never pronounce his name. No, no, no. Shout no. out Ray Volpe. <laughs> yeah, V V O L P V O L P E. But they were making they were <laughs> making so fun of um they were making fun of the way I pronounce everything. Right. So So wait, you met the guy and you never asked so him what his I've name was. Trying... Hey, Borgor. No. It's B O R B O R G O R E. They just make fun of the way I say it because I put it like two syllables and so I what's stress it supposed the to be? It's supposed to be like 
like Borgor. Uh, no, I can't even say it. Because his real it. name is a- is Ace of it's Borger. It's a Sof. Yeah, it's a Sof Borger. Yeah, but his but his DJ name is Borgor. Okay. So and you, so, so you, are you I said it, right it correctly or just now. Okay, yeah, so it's Borgor. just the way I like yeah. I like stress the wrong syllable yeah. and they he's, laugh at me. He's young. He's this is yeah. Yeah, he's young. He's young and hot. Yeah, that's but this song's song. from like 2009. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was. But but so that's like less. Well, okay. Do you know the song "Decisions" um, with Miley Cyrus in it? And it's like okay, no, you would know. Um, this you is like might... six, degrees, six degrees of separation from Borgo. Trying to figure out which song it's going to take before you know, I know who he is. You know, um, I don't know who he is. Fuck, what is that I'm song with G-Eazy? I forgot. I could talk about G-Eazy. Basically, I, I love him. G-Eazy but so, okay, hold on. So I've favorite. been obsessed with him. Shout out my brother. Shout out to your brother. So I've been obsessed Lord with Lord. him for so long. Oh, can you pronounce your last name for me? I'm, me? Right now? You're yeah. actually asking me? Frigolette. Okay, so Frigolette. I've been trying to pronounce that all day. Yeah, my, who have you been telling My friend was Lord, like, Lord, Lord, Lord. my friend was like, um, he yeah, what, sounds Jewish. Is he guess? Jewish? So funny. I was like, Frigoletti, Frigoletti. Doesn't sound Jewish. Right. That's pronounce. funny. That's never Well, I was just saying place. Frig, Frig. I can't yeah, pronounce frig. it. Frig. Yeah. yeah so, um... So anyway, I got to meet him and I'm such a, like, I, I have like some weird, like rapey undertones to me sometimes where okay. I'm very like you aggressive. You gotta understand how not rapey a woman is. Right, exactly. So but if I was a guy, creepy. if I was a guy, Anything everybody say, would be like, creepy. oh my God. Creepy shit. You could be John <laughs> Stamos at a bar by yourself yeah. and be a creep. Yeah. It's not a good look. And so... But I'm very aggressive, and like I've just, love that. I've been dying to meet him forever. Okay. But he's he's apparently kind of shy. But met his him this whole trip. yeah, like, so like, like two days ago, two okay. days ago. Okay. So didn't have my stars mask on. I'm okay. just gonna throw that yeah, out there because yeah. we were backstage, so I didn't have to wear it. Uh, but, so, um, uh, you, you saw you saw him play. Yeah. Well, and so Harley took me on my birthday this past uh, yeah. this past birthday. We went, and um, I was supposed to meet him, but then somebody gave me Molly, and I've never done that before in she my had no life. No idea what was gonna happen. Okay. Yeah. No I idea. Accidentally took Molly I was too. rolling yeah. my face off like crying like what's happening to me i thought i was so gonna funny. die it was horrible so it was wait so, so bad. are you where are you on so, the where are you on the drug spectrum though uh i don't do any drugs i'm like a big yeah. consequences guy i'm always like i don't know if i'm gonna get my brain back after yeah this. Like, that's how i feel yeah so i i'm pretty like, try not i like, mean like i can drink with yeah. the best of them but you know <laughs> well okay I just don't know if mostly I know. if we're talking about wine okay. not right everybody has yeah. their poison right yeah wine yeah and then like and then for and some champagne. reason the same person that yeah that, that can do as well on champagne if you right. get gin they're punching out car windows for no reason. Yeah, yeah. I don't okay, know. Okay, so Borgor. Let's get into you so uh, aggressively I met, Okay, well, I, I like, tweet him all the time, and I, so I finally got my Instagram and Twitter accounts taken away from me from my assistant. Shout out. Oh, at what, so you're not Courtney. even in charge anymore? Yeah, no, oh, totally. Oh, I got retweeted totally earlier. Totally That's not, not, I gotta give, I gotta shout out the, your, your, your assistant for that. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> it's always, it's always at Yay Courtney, and she yells at me. She's like, stop telling people that it's me. They're like, they need to know that. And, oh, yeah. And like, that's, sometimes, that's the, yeah. like, sometimes it's, it's me, like, I, I'm on there. Like, if you see, like, a few tweets in a row that yeah. seem inappropriate or, like, okay. something about daddy, like, that's <laughs> usually me. Okay. Like, okay. something this weird. This is decoy thing. Yeah, um, but... But now she's just going to write to... Now she's just going to write that way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly, no exactly. But, 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 but I think the public understands, uh, at a certain level of, mm-hmm. of, of fame or yeah. whatever, you know, that... that it's there's another person involved. Well, there's mine's just because I I'm incredibly, you know, like if I am at my house drinking a lot of wine, yeah. I get I get super inappropriate, okay. and I am just tweeting like okay. so that's some off that. the wall stuff. Okay. People are like, right. well, what? and then and then because the, the problem is it's like it. You, <laughs> It's not. It's not. It's not about being a person anymore. It's about being on brand all the right, time. Right. Exactly. And so she's like, yelling oh, at me. Yeah. She's like, "This isn't on brand." Yeah, that's what she says it's to me so all the time. Funny. She's like, "You're so off You're brand right now. Right what are now? you doing?" Yeah. She's like, "Stop posting that." You just I, lost six I did a. I did a video of me waterboarding myself the other so day, and she's crazy. like, "What are you doing?" So crazy. I mean, it was funny. That could be fun. I need you. I love being waterboarded. It's one of my favorite things. No, really. Look at this. I believe you. Oh wait, we oh, got to the, we I gotta touch turn the sound on. No, you can't. It's fine. Okay. Hold on. It sounds like I'm having sex, but I'm not. Well, it's the same thing. Waterboarding and sex are pretty similar. It's wait. So this is the this is the Snapchat filter. Okay. 
This is, <laughs> this, I don't think you know what waterboarding is. No, it's, it's way yeah, more aggressive. Hold on, I've been waterboarded. Do you want to see? Let me show you. Shout there, out to Mr. Pope. There are, yeah, there are plenty. Shout out to the Pope for waterboarding plenty, there me. There are plenty of porn videos that are very that are very similar to waterboarding, but I think it's more like cockboarding. But. No, waterboarding, waterboarding Charlotte Cross. Let's, really? I, they yeah, put a, they put I, a, they I put legitimately a, love so water co- torture. They cover your mm-hmm. face, yeah, so you can't por- see it coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so it's a constant feeling of drowning. Uh, yep. What? what is, exactly, what and is I good love about it. That? It's endorphin play. Okay. Um, I gotta find it. You can't Princess. do it to yourself. You're gonna drown yourself. Yeah, exactly. You you I'm no not control. allowed to. Don't worry. The guy, they the, the all guy yelled in excess. It was, you know, he did the yeah. thing. He hung himself in his in his bathtub. You need somebody else. They all you yelled at me and told okay. me no. They. That's like when I play with my, um, when I play with my uh, gas mask by myself, um, and then they yell at me. They're like, "You're gonna, you're gonna fuck What's the yourself ga- up." What's the gas mask? Where you put the filter on and you cut your oxygen off. They're like, "No, no breath play anybody. by you yourself." You can't do that by yourself. This is it. I know, it. but it, it's like gives you so much endorphins. I'm, I'm like, that. I got into porn for like for the purpose of just doing fetish work. Like yeah. I could care less about like having sex with somebody. Yeah. I actually, when I write my scripts, I do not write sex into them. Okay. Like my whole production company is me either torturing a girl and making her do like weird shit, like yeah. hump pillows yeah. or, um, or, uh, me being like tortured by somebody that I would want to torture me. So waterboarding. Yeah. What do they call it? Breath play? What Breath play. This is crazy. You're, you're, you're blowing my world. Right I now. know. Um, but basically, let's segue back. So, yeah, yeah. Back to what? I, to EDM? Yeah. <laughs> yeah we, so, we got so far away from so that. So, okay. I, um, I met Borgor. Yeah, that's and it. I was so, we got to talk about so whether or not nervous. you just randomly grabbed his dick, and we got to talk about whether yeah. or not you actually enjoy EDM. I, so, I didn't. I didn't. Because um, you were worried about him being shy. Well, no, I was shy. I was so nervous. Shy. Yeah, I was so, so you, nervous. So you, get, so you do get starstruck. Or, well, I guess I it's, do more, not, like, it's though. more like a crush. Yeah, I have such a crush on him, and he's, I just think but he's is, so but cute. It, so, but it is, though, because it's not, because you don't know him. So, like, a crush is kind of somebody, yeah. although it, it has a, but, it, but, but the crush is on somebody who's yeah. kind of in the public eye. Yeah, so, so that's, I that's have a... generally what being starstruck um, is. Because even dudes, like, I was watching a show earlier where, the, where, where Chuck Norris came on the show, mm-hmm. and the dudes basically were starstruck because they had a crush. Yeah. They had, like, a man crush They're, on Chuck yeah. Norris. Yeah. Well, that's how I feel about War War. I don't right. do that with any Okay. with anyone else like there's been nobody I've ever, ever been like oh my god oh my god right. that's crazy yeah. but I was so nervous I asked him three times for a picture I was like can I get a picture, a picture? and everybody was like that he couldn't hear me because I was so quiet oh, not, not three separate pictures three times no, no, to no. get one picture yeah yeah and wow. I was so quiet and his manager Justin was like his tour I think it's his tour manager yeah. but he was like he can't hear you. He was like, he's like, he's hard at hearing. You have to, you have to. He blew say his it. ears up. Yeah, DJ. yeah. So and funny. so, and so, finally, my friend Ray, who opened for him, was like, Shut "Will up. you take a picture with her?" And I was like, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah." And we took a picture. And let me just no, let me show see you. Show. I've it's, never seen it. I haven't seen anybody this giddy since high school. I know. <laughs> and he took a picture. We Here's did. our picture. Oh, oh my, my god! Look at the difference between your face. <laughs> In his face. I'm going to show it here, but I'm also going to tweet it. Do this not is me right now. You're not even the same. Here's the thing. I'm, I've been I've been in this room for an hour. Uh, you're not even the same person in this photo as you are right now. I just lost I it, was but, so um, nervous, huh? Yeah, you are, you are a 15-year-old girl in this photo because you're just so good at it. A thousand percent. It's like, so hilarious. My face is so red it's right so now. so hilarious. Now, wait. Um, yeah, so you have... So, by the way, so you have twenty three thousand uh, uh, Instagram followers, yeah. and this this photo only got a hundred likes. <laughs> yeah, basically. Because it, 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 it's so <laughs> off brand. Like, it's so like, off this brand. This is not Charlotte. It's so funny. Yeah, you're a completely different person. And then, it's so funny. but see, does this? Oh do I look God. like a fifteen year old girl here? No, no, I don't know why. <laughs> because it's like this is you confidence with yourself. Yeah, but, I was but, so but scared. Then he's t- right, and look, and this, um, yeah, and this got fucking five hundred views. Which you know the views likes thing is different with the video yeah. in uh, in here, but that's basically 500 people. But only 100 people gave a shit that, in that other picture because like, who are you? Why are you a 15 year old girl? Yeah. And also, why does this dude get to stand next to you? That's the other half. Oh it's my god, I was like, so funny. and and he 
like that my might be, I was that's sitting my favorite picture on in your entire Instagram I was account. sitting so on funny. what I have like some almost nudes on there it's, come yes, on for some reason He's there's, like, something no, about no. That. there's something about that that's just it's me a, being it's, embarrassed I don't know yeah uh, well, yeah I like I, I I'm gravitated towards just like the adorable yeah well here is. I was sitting over here when Ray was like yeah I got you backstage and you backstage out. passes yeah Holy so shit. let me show you Harley um, Harley took a video. I'm crying. Oh my god, crying, this and is she's so funny. like, "Oh my god, I can't so, right now." Because I've been trying to meet him for even, a year. But do you oh, think you could even crying. like? Do you think you can hook up with him? Because you're so, no, you're, no. so, you're so like starstruck by him. I was so crying. Funny. You yeah you you know you can't even ha you can't handle your own emotions. You don't even know what, you don't even know whether you're happy or sad. It was like yeah. I was so yeah, excited. It's so funny. That's but crazy. I wasn't weird, and I like I was more worried that I was gonna be like, like. I told you, you can't be creepy. all rapey and creepy. You can't be creepy. No, you can. You can. You can be creepy as, and then I don't. I don't know how. Like, <laughs> like, if I guess you could be creepy as a woman, mm -hmm. but uh, not. I don't. Not as no. Not as like an adorable. See, yeah, but I don't know. He's like friends with a bunch of my friends, yeah. so I could probably like meet him a couple more yeah. times and then not give a shit. And then I'm gonna look Maybe. back and be like, I'm gonna call you like, Dan, can you erase that podcast? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the one thing. <laughs> I, don't I don't care if you post it. anything else. Uh, just, just cut that little take part that out. take that whole thirty minute piece about <laughs> me. About... It was. It turned into yeah. thirty five minutes. <laughs> Sorry. People are people are uh, people are like, hate this dude are following him. I'm not sure. We're, we're blowing his career up right now. Um, you're getting a call. Should fun. we answer it? Is that what's up? No, 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 no. this text. is telling me that I got to get off my fat ass. This is what the, oh, uh, mine does Apple that watch. to yeah, me. Just, oh, it says you're almost there. Uh, oh, you're keep doing cool stuff with your Apple Watch. Keep Mine's my stuff. cool Fitbit. It's the same, but, it's it, but that's my favorite part about the the Apple Watch is the Fitbit shit. Yeah. Oh, uh, it has Fitbit on it. Not not the not the Fitbit technology, but the same oh. idea. It says, listen, you get you you pick a goal. Yeah. Of how much you want to move, and I picked it when I so I just had knee surgery two weeks ago. Oh, so on for, what? For, uh, so I tore all the I tore nice. all the meniscus, meniscus so they ACL. Went in, they, they tripped the mm -hmm. they, they clipped all the, the nasty shit out. Yeah. And whatever. So um so for almost so that, like when I after I ripped it and then I couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Um I, I I couldn't I mean I couldn't do anything I couldn't go I couldn't go up the stairs I couldn't do like it was yeah. it was fucked up. Um so then I realized very quickly that like my goal that I'd set. To like do movement of 900 calories, which is gonna mm -hmm. bum me out every day. Yeah. Because every day it was like, hey man, you need it. You gotta so move. And I was like, I can't move. Watch. <laughs> yeah, I can't like, do it. Fuck you. I didn't know how to reset it. It was so. <laughs> oh my god. Just so me you're out being like traumatized so, by well, your so watch. So it was seven months of yeah, basically not being. I was I'm a runner, so I couldn't oh run for seven god. months. It was yeah, it's bad. It wasn't good. And the and the worst part is I ripped it, uh, playing 1864 baseball, which is so so avoidable. What ask, is eight, ask, what is eighteen sixty four baseball? Ask every, question, ask every baseball. question you need to ask. Right what now, is eighteen sixty four baseball? So because, did you play baseball? Were you a shortstop? Um, I played. I played second, short, and third. I mean, I was pretty close. Yeah. yeah. Well, and and there's a there really is a drastic difference between third and, and second. But yeah. At my best, I played second. I remember I would have I would have I would have three I would have an inning where three three balls came yeah. to me and three outs. That's me. But uh, eighteen sixty four baseball is. Uh, the, the origin of baseball. The right. game of baseball was uh, was played first in Hoboken. Mm -hmm. So I live in Hoboken. I run I run a festival in Hoboken, and um, so I was like, I want to get more involved. Right. And for a couple of years, I was just be, I was an umpire for them. Mm -hmm. like bow tie, top hat, the whole wow. thing. Wow. Going out, going games. It's all historic like reenactment stuff. Oh my god. And so it's the Hoboken Nine. So I've been, I've been playing. The problem is there was no fields. There's no gloves. There's no real uh, organization to baseball in 1864, so we play with those rules. So we end up in like a field in Monmouth, New Jersey, like that's got that's just got humps in the field, and it's just mm -hmm. like long grass, and nobody cares. So now I was playing on this field. We played a doubleheader, and I'm running, and we didn't even line up directly on the grooves. Wait, were you? Uh, were you? I was playing. Oh, you're so playing. I played last okay. season. So, so we lined up on the groove, like, like you know, we didn't even line up directly on the grooves. Like mm -hmm. we weren't, like we didn't go into the humps or yeah. or against the humps. We lined up diagonally against them. So like, you don't even know when there's a hump coming. Right. So that day, the next day, I wake up, everything like I can't move anything. Oh my god. And then like an idiot, I wait like two months, put a knee brace on. I'm like, I'm probably fine. Start yeah. Start running, rip it worse. So. I did that as I choke. Oh my god, I did that. <laughs> you ripped everything. Uh, like no. 1864 baseball. No, close, similar. <laughs> okay. um, tumbling. I tore my MCL. Okay. So wow. It was a gymnast wait. and a okay, cheerleader. So that's the other. That's the other. The tendon, medial. Right. Yes. That's the one in the the ACLs in the back. The ACLs like the 
Yeah, the, the main, main one. one, but the mm-hmm. MCL's in the front? No, it's on uh, the inside. Okay. Well, that's... Yes. Okay. All right, fair enough. I yeah, it's not on the inside. Enough. I should know that. You have the, the PCL. I think the PCL's on the inside. Oh, I don't know about the PCL. Yeah. I've heard of the MCL and the ACL. I don't know about the PCL. PCL is on, on the low. Is it? I, I mean, it's I, the I, one I that you're least likely to tear, I'm Maybe pretty that's sure. Right. Look, we're, I'm Are you Googling it right now? Yeah, knee anatomy. <laughs> I'm going to show you. I've Please. Got, I've got this. Don't worry. Yeah. So on knee on how many knee. legs? Just, just I on totally the one. said collateral. On one leg or two legs? You were one. Two. Here we go. Look See, at the it. thing. The thing I the thing I fucked up the most was I didn't I didn't actively try to find out how to the uh, LCL how Wait. to fix things. I didn't even actually look oh. if all of those are on there. But they're you... not at all. You literally just showed me, <laughs> you just showed me the thing. <laughs> I picked the, the I picked the wrong no, one. Not at all. I'm gonna show you. Oh, it's it's you went to the wrong side. So I don't. You have I your... didn't do nothing. You I took you to hand it to me and I was Shh. done. Blame me for the thing. I don't. You're the one. You have a penis. You get blamed for everything. Yep, that's how it works. That's how it works. Is it? We get to be creepy. Tell me a story things. about how you've been blamed for things. Here's the PCL. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? Um, PCL? Yeah, I still can't tell what any of this is, but uh, cool. Yeah. ACL, PCL, and then this one is on the MCL. I don't care anymore. Nobody, and honestly, if anybody was listening, they'd just stop listening. They, you they, think like, so? For help? Yeah, they don't care. Uh, well, because they can also can't see our, our... I'm just having... Our just... I'm not blaming you for that. I'll take the blame for that. Right, because you have the penis. <laughs> So you you feel that way? Do you, I mean, you? No, not really. We like we're allowed to have to deal with that pressure. Like my friend got mad at me for something shitty he did two days ago, and then yelled at me, and then I was like, "Okay, come over." And he's like, "What?" And then I blew him and said I was sorry, and then he left and went I need more and went like home this. to his dad. Um, like, no, so this is his family. We no, but whenever somebody does that to you. That's on them. Like what? The, like Yelled at me? Say some, yeah, when you say something and then they overreact. I was into it, though. I was like, yeah, okay. me so this is, like, this is a power play. Yeah, this this is. I'm like, I'm like, oh, my God. I guess I tried to get him to come over yesterday. <laughs> this happened all today, actually. I was like, it happened yesterday that he yelled so, at me. Like, can I ask you this? This is, okay, yeah. this is a weird thing. So, because I, I, I've heard this in other, in other conversations with people. Like, what's the intersection of germophobia and blowing a dude? Like, I, don't, like, I just don't understand... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. That's you that's just different. removed it. You yeah, removed you know, it. I don't know, who cares about that? Fuck. Well, I mean, I guess I I'm care, saying like but it's all germ- like it's all germs. But it's somebody that I've like. He so he's actually a huge. So germs like, go. So too. germs. Uh, if I if I germs are omitted if you think that somebody is clean. If I consent to germs. your to your um, germs, it's fine. Okay, so that's how it works. Yeah, just just don't like brain. yeah, just don't like molest me with your germs. Right. Okay. <laughs> that's how that works. Okay. Like, do All not right. don't aggressively sneeze on right. me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> this uh, no, that explains that explains everything. All right. Well, listen. Uh, we're at like an hour or two. You I wanna, don't know. You want to be done with me? I just I don't know how long is too long. Um. Maybe maybe we'll, maybe we'll wrap and we could do maybe we do another we could do another one but I feel yeah. like an hour as long as people want to listen to yeah. either of us. Oh, you're not gonna make any cuts to this? No, I no, I think it's gonna go wrong. <laughs> it's gonna go wrong. With that. What's funny is the last episode, <laughs> like forty minutes in, mm-hmm. and I was interviewing a dude, and I don't I don't think I have a great rapport with man. I think I, I'm, I'm a, wait I'm, was a porn star dude? Yeah, and I'm a natural heel, and I'm I'm a natural. I give off like a natural sort of like what aggressive vibe. I'll tell you what it is. I mean, it's Chad Alba, but. Uh, oh. But we, I don't know, but so we were, we were just kind of, I, yeah. I don't know if we were bumping heads. You're an Aquarius. Hands. Yeah, I don't know if we were bumping heads yeah. or whatever, but like, so like 40 minutes in, he, he was just like, he was like, hey, I think I gotta go. But he said it on the thing, and I was yeah. like, oh, I don't even know how to handle this. Yeah. Do I, do I, do I, do I play it cool, or do we just go, okay, cool, and just cut it, you know? Yeah. So I tried to keep him for like two more minutes, and he was like, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go though? I got, like, I still have to go. <laughs> so that's funny. That's wonderful. But this is episode three. I don't know. I don't know the episode rules of, three? of starting and finishing. Yeah. Did you think mm-hmm. this, you, you thought this had more, a much bigger history, huh? No, this, no, no. I knew it was fairly new. I just, that's why I kept yelling at you. I kept yelling at you for um, booking, how you were booking me. I'm like, <laughs> hey, you gotta do it this way. Well, because I, I, I thought I was strict, talking to the right people. I have strict instructions. No, I, I, thought I was My talking agents to the right and I got into it. They called me. They were like, you said you were handling this. I was like, I, he was supposed to email me. I didn't know me. who was handling it. I was it. like, he was to, supposed to. To be honest with you, I wasn't sure based on <laughs> other things. Like, 
people have people have committed and backed out. So I was yeah. like, I was like, the closer I get to the date <laughs> is when I'll pick the time. Yeah. Because if I if I carve out the time yeah. slot, I reach out to a venue. Yeah. And then and then uh, and I'm like, listen, I got this person. They're coming. Yeah. And then it's day of, and I don't show up. They're like, this guy's full of shit. Yeah. He said he was bringing no. this, you know. Person. I just I just wanted to give you some shit. I my no, you're I I was like I, thought, I, thought, I was like I had they were like well you need to reach out to him and tell him I was like I'll reach out to him when he sends me the email that I gave him strict instructions. <laughs> and what's fucked up is I thought I was still emailing the right, the right person, person, and then I and then I saw your message and I was like I'm totally the asshole. Yeah. I'm totally that. It's okay. And then, uh, and then I, I, I've been pretty good. I used to be, I think, the kind of person where when conflict ar- arose, I would, uh, I would do everything, everything but address it, right? Yeah. So I'd be like, I'd be like, well, you did this and that, and the, and, uh, and and I think lately, I don't know if it's, I'm just becoming an adult. You're an now. adult. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so How I, old are you? I'm just turned 34. Oh, perfect. And You're so like hitting like, I'm like almost, crime, like, like daddy issues yeah. age. Oh, yeah. Great. yeah. Oh, that's... oh, yeah. I'm gonna, you know, I'm starting to get gray. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my so, god. If I keep my hair. Ow. And like and a waistline, yeah, dude. I'm gonna, it's gonna be a whole other, a it's whole like other a level. Fucking porn girl's oh, yeah. wet dream, oh, man. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so I, I, I was, I think, I, yeah, I think I admitted, I, I think I admitted I was wrong, and I thought that the, that I was talking to the right people. Yeah. And because uh, you were, because you, 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 you were like, yeah, man, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I told you to do it, thing. You didn't fucking do it. I'm not gonna do it. Who are you? And then I was like, no, no, no. I'm. It's, you're right. My father hit the wrong person. And, you, and then immediately you were like, oh, okay, no, I'll probably yeah. do it. And, okay, like, cool. and then we, and then we ended up in the exact same place. We did. Because you were like, there's no way I can do it at 2 o'clock. And yeah. then one hour later, we had 2 o'clock carved out. And I was yeah. like, this is so strange that we did we did this song and dance to end up I, in the same I'm place. bratty, though. Like, I, I had to have a power play to feel yeah, no, good. And, like, and, no, that again, was me. At the end of the day, like, I'm not I'm not the star of it. Like, nobody nobody yeah. cares about this. My, my website is literally called bratcharlotte.com. So, funny. so, so funny. embrace oh, it. Oh, so yeah. So, there, perfect transition. Should, uh, should they follow you? How yeah, do we follow you? Um, you can follow me thing? on Twitter at the cross triple x um please don't send me nudes or courtney will get really mad right and stay because courtney has to stay on brand. no nudes yeah courtney, courtney will not retweet your nudes it's not on brand um, sending a nut sending and, a guy's dick is not on brand and then and Ever. then um any there's no brand what's where my you send ins- a guy's dick. my instagram is at the charlotte cross is it different what happened you aren't you supposed to you know, get the same one. I had like high hopes that that was gonna happen, yeah. but it didn't because I liked I liked the cross triple X because I couldn't get the cross because the cross is a Christian right. devoted. They own that shit. Yeah, yeah so the I Pope was like, Pope owns that shit. Yeah. No, the Pope owns me. Okay. I'm just <laughs> back, yeah, back to the. That's jump. a. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> that was a porn joke. Back to the finish. Shout out um, to Mr. Pope. Mr. Pope, we've there's more shout outs on this. Than like a 1992 radio show. Oh my like god! In, in Harlem, like that, like it doesn't make sense. I wasn't even born yet. That's true. Wait, yeah, how old are you? 22. Everybody that was listening just creamed themselves. Um, all right, what else? Um, yeah. yeah no, so, that was, so it was easy for me. I I, 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 get on people all the time because they don't have the same one. It's easy for me. There's only one Dan for Yeah. You're not gonna nobody. I was like, I don't have like to fight sounding it out, out like. Fricolette. Yeah. So, like, wait, so let me. So you have problems with pronunciation. So obviously this is a stage name. Was, you, was your well, is you don't know you don't have to say right. Your but is that a hard name to pronounce? No, so no. Just, spelled so some, pieces of it are spelt a little weird. But for me, um, it's my ADHD that that I have to. Ha- I ask people when I meet them. Me up. I meet people and I ask them how to spell their name, even if it's yeah. like something dumb. They're like Sarah, and I go Sarah with an H, and they go no, and they and then that's how I remember a person's name. It's yeah, like kind of weird I monitor. usually remember everyone's name. I could not remember that comedian's name that said that about me that one time. You didn't meet him either. I didn't. I mean, he so, shook my hand afterwards, yeah. but that but was not it. Him, so it's like, but I, I have an insane hook. memory. So. I can take that so many ways. Like you're just like I'm a fucking maniac. <laughs> exactly. Or it's good. Insane yeah. being good. Okay. Well, okay. this this is this is great. It's, we're at a, we're at an hour seven. People tuned out uh, 15 minutes ago <laughs> uh, when we started talking about Menisci and, uh, and MCL and PCL. <laughs> but I feel like we had a good time here. Uh, follow us. Um, check out the videos, or if that's how you got here, check out the other stuff. Um, I don't know. This was a uh, this is great. Thank you so much. Uh, Porn stars and people podcast. Check us out on the web. Keep following us. Subscribe. All those things. Thank you.